Hi guys, this is uh, Spin Retro here. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to set up some of these emulators on Retroid Pocket 2. These emulators that I'm going to talk about don't come with Retroid Pocket 2, but you can buy them from the Google App Store. Um, they are gbc.mu, gba.mu, md.mu, and snes9xex+. So these emulators, um, I recommend them because they are all in, they are very similar to each other. All the menu items are same and the way you set up these um, keys and emulators are pr practically the same. So I'm going to um, use Game Boy emulator, gbc.mu for an example here. So I'm going to talk about how to set up the keys and bind keys to system functions such as load state and save state and fast forward or open up the menu. So right now I have it configured so that R2 opens up a menu and L2 fast forwards the game. And I think these are very useful features um, on Android. Um, Sometimes you don't have these luxury on other handheld platform. So let's get to it. So let's go to the menu. Right now I have gbc.mu open. Open up the menu and navigate to the key gamepad input setup. And we're going to use PlayStation 3 profile. And that is the profile that Retroid Pocket 2's controller scheme uses. So enter that. And uh, go to set in-game actions. So I have it configured so that R2 opens up a menu. And L2 fast forwards. Safe state is right analog trick uh, analog stick load state as left analog stick so if you set it up like this while you play you can simply use the right right analog stick to quickly save and load using the left analog stick and also since I mapped L2 as a fast forward, I can just hold on to it and fast forward the beginning part of it. All right, next thing I'm going to talk about is um, how to over. Um, how to apply these over over overlay effects such as scan lines. So go to the option under options video overlay effect and I chose scan lines and I think scan scan lines come out the best. The other options you can try them uh, by personally like personally like scan lines the best. And um, another thing you have to do is uh, set overlay effect level to a certain percentage. Um, higher this number um, changes the opacity level on the overlay effect. I think 66% is fairly sufficient, so I'll keep it at that. And you can apply the same settings on other emulators uh, such as GBAMU, MDMU. Uh, they are all in one family. You can also change the aspect ratio. So the originally they have this at 10 by 9. But I personally like it stretched and remove these uh, black uh, letterbox. And if you want to change the palette color um, you can go to GB Palette. Uh, first, you have to turn off Use Built-in GB Palettes Off. 
in order to configure this manually and change that to let's say red and as you can, as you can see you can see the changed color I'm gonna change it back to original and it'll give off the green tint So we can fast forward these section by pressing down the L2. We're gonna pick Charmander, the best Pokemon in the world. And send Squirtle down the drain. Oh, I, we almost lost there. Okay, so you can like like again, as I mentioned, you can use the right analog stick to quickly save. If something happens and you don't like the outcome, you can go load state and quickly change. So that's how you set up. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave any questions uh, in the comments below. Please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.